So the first of the chase qualifiers is next and the starters order seven. Chase is two and a quarter miles north to 120 and the top one is Ancient Grass, Craig Beckwith, The Dare, Joshua Sutherland, Bailoff Clasp for James Shea, Valmina Tate, David Robertson, Slaney Upon and Lalalee Sultane for Thomas Rogers, Lions Raw, Paul Rhodes, Farhana Landage, James Shea, Fires at Midnight, Martin Lidham, Caulfield, Alex Cherry, Lee of the Valley, Obi Wan, Days Ballet Dancer, Darren Thompson, Avon Exotic, or Stu Gray, Baby Blue, Alex Cherry and Ron Kino. Obi Wan, so 15 then this time. Called in and away for the first of the Stars Orders Chase qualifiers to get down to the first, and they all got over it nicely. With Fires at Midnight on the outside, just about in the lead. But now Lily of the Valley in the yellow jacket is going to come through on the inside and claim that leading spot, get across to the rail. So Lily of the Valley it is then. We'll settle down in the lead by a good two lengths to bail off Clasp in second. And then fires at midnight, Lions roars also close up. I'm trying to give Paul Rhodes a double and they start as all his qualifiers for week two. As they race towards the second of the 14 fences. And over that one they got a really good fast jump by Lions Roar. It's going to go to within three quarters of a length of the leader. Who is Lily of the Valley. So Lily of the Valley in the lead and they get over the next. That's number three and they're all over that nicely with Avon Exotic and Slaney upon the back two. Short run to the fourth, that'll be the last next time round, and they're all safely over that one as well. With Lions Raw having jumped its way into the lead, Lily of the Valley is second, Fires at Midnight is third, then Lanelli Sultan after that one, then the Dare and Baby Blue, Far Highland Days, Bailoff Clasp has dropped back, then comes Rob Kino, Coalfield is also there, Days Ballet Dance is going to go the shortest way around, Valmina Tail is chasing that one, Slaney Upon and Avon Exotic the back two, but swinging out then there. Uh, this next one, this is the water, and Lily of the Valley and Lions are all disputing the lead. They're three or four clear of the Dare in third, and then Baby Blue fourth. Bailoff Clasp is fifth, then Far Island Days and Fires at Midnight as they take number six. And there's a fall, and then I think is a yeah, Ronquino. Ronquino's out of it, so Ronquino's gone. Probably a stable companion of the leader looking at the colours who jumped that one slowly as well. Lily of the Valley then jumped it a little bit slowly but still in the lead. Lions Raw Jockey taking a bit of a tug on that one in second. Then the Dare is third. Baby Blue is fourth. Then Bailoff Class. Valmina Tail now coming into it. Then Far Harder Than Days. Fires at Midnight's lost its place. Lanelli Sultan is next. Avon Exotic is still the back marker. And coming down towards the final mile now then. And Lily of the Valley has kicked on in the lead as Lions Raw seems to be just taking a bit of a breather, I think. The Dare on the outside has moved through into second. Baby Blue is third. Over the eighth they go, and good jumps there by quite a few of them. Fires at midnight, jumped really well on the outside, and the Dare's jumped into the lead. It's the Dare in front from Lily of the Valley as they take the ninth. From D Dare's in the lead, Lily of the Valley second. Ancient Glass is third. Then comes Lions Raw, fires at midnight, bail off Clasp is after that one. Lanely Sultan is trying to get into it as well. As they come down towards the next, then the Dare's in the lead. The Dare takes it. This ditch in front from Lily of the Valley, Ancient Grass, Fires at Midnight, Lions are all starting to run on again, Lanelli Sultan and Bailoff Clasp are still in this as well, Ballet Dancer is trying to run on, so too is Caulfield, Baby Blue's lost his place, over the 11th they go, and there's a bit of a mistake by a couple of them there, but it's the Dare who's been left in the lead, the Dare's in the lead, from Ancient Grass in second, Coalfield is next, Lions are all now kicking on again, Fires at Midnight round the outside, Days Ballet Dancer looks to be a big danger as they sweep towards home, Coalfield's come through to take it up. It's Coalfield in the lead. Ron Lions are all second. The Dare is back in third. Days Bunny Dance are fourth. Then fires at midnight and Ancient Grass. Bailoff Clasp is trying to run on. They come down towards the final through and fences now over the third last of the lead. went right through it and the Dare has now gone back into the lead. It's the Dare back in front from Coalfield. Lions are all. Days Bunny Dance are fires at midnight. Over the second last they go. Good jumps by all of them but the Dare on the outside of the Coalfield. Then coming up the centre of the track is Days Bunny Dance and fires at midnight over the final fence they go Coalfield's back in front again it's Coalfield with half a length to go half a furlong to go and Coalfield on the inside of the dare fires at midnight third Coalfield's going to take it over line Coalfield wins it in the dairy second fires at midnight third days Bailey that's a fourth and then bail off clasp and all the way back to far harder land days but Coalfield was brave on the inside and takes it for Alex Cherry with the Dare second, Pfizer midnight third, those three, I think, will be qualified for the final.
and good to book your place early in that final. Caulfield for Alex Sherry, the winner then. The Dare for Joshua Sullivan second. Pfizer Midnight for Martin Little was third. Days Bally Dancer Darren Thompson fourth. And Bailoff Clasp for James Shea was fifth. That's me for week three. I'll hand you over to Stu who's got some exciting races to end the week. The Hunters and the Velka part of Beaker as well, which is always a thrilling race.